the roadrunner of Wolverhampton, Adama Traore, a name that sends shivers down the spines of defenders across the Premier League. Known for his electrifying speed and raw, unadulterated power, Adam Atrori is a force of nature on the football pitch. His name is synonymous with blistering pace and raw power. When Adama takes off, it's like watching a cheetah in full flight, every muscle working in perfect harmony to propel him forward at breakneck speed. His muscular build is not just for show, it's the engine that drives his incredible acceleration. This is a man who turns defenders into spectators, leaving them grasping at thin air as he explodes down the wing. Imagine being a defender, thinking you have him cornered, only to see him vanish in a blur of motion. It's a sight to behold, and a nightmare for anyone trying to keep up. His acceleration is the stuff of legend, a blur of muscle and motion that can change the complexion of a game in the blink of an eye. One moment he's standing still, the next he's halfway down the pitch, leaving everyone else in his wake. It's this ability to shift gears so rapidly that makes him such a dangerous player. Today we're tapping into Adama's encyclopedic knowledge of speed, challenging him to pick out the fastest players in the Premier League. Who better to judge speed than the man who embodies it? Adama has faced off against some of the quickest players in the league, and his insights are invaluable. Think you know who the quickest players in the league are? You might be surprised. Speed isn't just about raw pace, it's about agility, quick thinking, and the ability to outmaneuver opponents. The Premier League is home to some of the fastest and most agile players in the world, each with their own unique style of play. Adama's about to put your knowledge to the test. With his infectious smile and easygoing demeanor, he might seem relaxed, but make no mistake, he's serious about speed. As we dive into this rapid-fire Quanda, get ready to see a side of Adama that you might not have seen before. We're diving into a rapid-fire Quanda, putting the spotlight on some of the Premier League's speediest teams. From lightning-fast wingers to quick-thinking midfielders, we'll explore what makes these players so special. Adama will share his thoughts on who he thinks are the fastest and why. Buckle up, because things are about to get very, very fast. As we delve into the world of speed and football, you'll gain a new appreciation for the skill and athleticism required to compete at the highest level. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride as we explore the incredible world of Adama Traore and the fastest players in the Premier League. Adama's Speed Gauntlet, a Premier League challenge. All right, Adama, I start. Let's talk speed. We're going team by team, and I want you to tell me who you think the fastest player is. Let's do it. I've got some names in mind, some obvious, some maybe not so much. The challenge is set. We're about to embark on a whirlwind tour of the Premier League's fastest players, as seen through the eyes of one of the league's speed demons. Wolves in sheep's clothing, Adama's speedy teammates. The Wolverhampton Wanderers, commonly known as Wolves, have always been a team that prides itself on speed and agility. Among their ranks, Adama Traore stands out not just for his blistering pace, but also for his incredible strength and dribbling skills. However, he's not the only speedster in the squad. First up, your own backyard. The Molyneux Stadium, the fortress where these speed demons hone their skills, is a place of both history and modern footballing excellence. The training ground is where the magic happens, where players push their limits and prepare for the battles ahead. Who's the fastest at Wolves, I ask? It's a question that sparks debates among fans and players alike. Speed is a crucial asset in modern football, and at Wolves, it's a quality that many players possess in abundance. Besides me, we've got some quick lads. Adam Atrore with his trademark smile acknowledges the talent around him. It's not just about individual brilliance, but also about the collective speed and agility that the team brings to the pitch. But for me, it's got to be Pedro Neto. Pedro is a player who has consistently shown that he can match up to the best in terms of speed. His ability to accelerate and leave defenders in his wake is something special. He's got that burst of acceleration, that explosive speed that can change the course of a game in an instant. When Pedro gets going, it's like watching a sprinter on a football field. That sudden change of pace that's so hard to defend against. Defenders often find themselves flat-footed, unable to react quickly enough to his rapid movements. It's this unpredictability that makes him such a valuable asset to the team. It's true. Nito's agility and quick feet make him a nightmare for defenders. 
His dribbling skills, combined with his speed, allow him to navigate through tight spaces and create opportunities out of nothing. Watching him in full flow is a sight to behold. He might not be as physically imposing as Traore, but his speed and trickery are just as dangerous. While Adama uses his strength to bulldoze through defenses, Pedro relies on his finesse and agility to outmaneuver opponents. But his speed and trickery are just as dangerous. In the end, it's this combination of different types of speed and skill that makes Wolves such a formidable team. Whether it's Traore's raw power or Nito's nimble footwork, the Wolves have a variety of weapons in their arsenal, ready to strike at any moment. Red Devils on the fly unveiling United's speedsters. Let's move on to Manchester United. Who do you reckon? Marcus Rashford, no doubt. He's got the perfect blend of speed and power. When he gets going, it's almost impossible to catch him. Rashford's pace is well documented. His ability to run in behind defense is a constant threat. Adama's assessment is spot on. Rashford is a true speedster. Gunners with Jets, Adama's take on Arsenal's pace. Now for Arsenal, who stands out for you, I ask. Bukayo Saka. He's so direct, always looking to run at defenders. Plus, he's got that low center of gravity that makes him even quicker over the first few yards. Saka's rise to prominence has been meteoric. His pace and dribbling ability making him one of the Premier League's most exciting young talents. Adama's admiration for his speed is evident. Dueling with demons, facing off against the league's fastest. In the world of football, speed can be a game changer. The Premier League is home to some of the fastest players on the planet, and going up against them is no small feat. These athletes are not just quick, they possess an incredible combination of agility, strength, and tactical awareness that makes them formidable opponents on the pitch. You face some of these guys on the pitch. Adam Atreori, known for his blistering pace and powerful runs, is one such player. His ability to accelerate past defenders and create scoring opportunities is unmatched. But what is it like to face him and others like him in a high-stakes match? Who's the toughest to play against? This is a question that many football fans and aspiring players often wonder about. The answer can reveal a lot about the challenges and strategies involved in top-tier football, I ask, eager to hear about his experiences. Adama's insights can provide a unique perspective on what it takes to compete at the highest level. His experiences on the field facing some of the fastest and most skilled players offer valuable lessons for anyone looking to understand the game better. Kyle Walker, he's incredibly quick, says Adama, reflecting on his encounters with the Manchester City defender. Walker's speed is legendary, but there's more to his game than just raw pace. But it's his game intelligence that makes him so difficult. Walker's ability to read the game and anticipate his opponent's moves sets him apart. He knows when to make a tackle, when to hold his position, and how to disrupt the flow of the game. He reads the game so well, anticipates your next move. This level of understanding and foresight is what makes Walker such a challenging opponent. It's not just about keeping up with the fastest players, it's about outthinking them. It's like he's always one step ahead. Adama's admiration for Walker's skills is evident. Facing a player who combines speed with intelligence requires a different level of preparation and strategy. The respect in Adama's voice is clear. He knows that to compete with the best, you have to be at your best. This respect is mutual among top players, who understand the dedication and effort required to reach the pinnacle of the sport. Facing off against Walker is a challenge he relishes, a true test of speed and agility. For Adama, these matchups are more than just games. They are opportunities to push his limits and improve his skills. Every encounter with a player like Walker is a chance to learn and grow making him a better player with each game. Hidden Gems, Adama's shout-out to underrated speedsters. Any players you think are underrated when it comes to speed, I ask? Look out for Ismaila Saar at Watford. He's got lightning pace, and he's only getting better. It's a shrewd observation. Saar's pace often flies under the radar, but as Adama points out, he's a player with the potential to terrify defenses. As our conversation draws to a close, I'm left with a newfound appreciation for the role speed plays in the Premier League. And who better to learn from than Adama Traore, a player who embodies the electrifying pace that makes the league so captivating. So, there you have it, a glimpse into the minds of the Premier League's speed demons. Who do you think is the fastest player in the league? Let us know in the comments below.